transforming Likert scale, which is an ordinal scale to nominal scale for data extracted from a questionnaire or a survey in SPSS. Ordinal data or ordinal scale is a, a scale that have a data in it in a format of categories such as the Likert scale. Likert scale uh, can be three point Likert scale, five, seven, nine, and so on. For five point Likert scale, the data are ordinal data. Ordinal data uh, is uh, uh, a data that have categories in it, but there is an order. An example for that is the five point Likert scale, one, four. Uh, strongly disagree and five for strongly agree nominal data a data that have categories in it but it does not have order the uh, ordinal data is categorial data but it has order in it from one to two three four and so on nominal scale is a categorial data with no order in it in this uh, data view in SPSS, I had uh, uh, extracted data from a questionnaire and for the sake of uh, explanation, I have only placed nine items, item number one to item number nine. The participant or individual have to choose uh, from uh, one to five options for answering the questions so the data were based or the responses were based on five point likert scale if we click on variable view as shown for the item number one to nine the value each category is given a value for strongly disagree one and for disagree two neither agree nor disagree three for agree is four and for uh, strongly agree is five so this is a five point likert scale click back again on data view if i click on this icon it shows the categories here to transform this uh, ordinal data into uh, nominal data, binominal uh, data or dichotomous data in which there is either uh, disagree or agree. The way to do that in SPSS is to click on transform and then uh, uh, scroll down to record into different variables as we are going here to generate a new variable for each item or each question so if we select the first item drag it to this area here in this box and then give it a new name let's call it item one recorded click on change to give it a, a, a name which is item one recorded and then click here on the old and the new values in this window uh, a new variable will be generated and the data will be recorded into that new variable and the way to do that is to record or transform uh, data or numbers from one two and three four uh, strongly disagree and disagree and um, in neutral combine them into uh, and give it one value which is uh, value one for uh, disagreeing and the way to do that is to click on range and the data is from one to three so these three uh, categories will be transformed into uh, a new value which is one uh, which stands for uh, disagree uh, click on add and then for the rest, which is number four and five for strong, for agree and strongly agree, which is the range from four to five, will give it a value of 
2 and I click on add and then click on continue and then click on OK and you variable is generated which is item 1 R which is recorded I will just decrease the decimal point by going to variable view and then reduce that to zero and as shown here the value for the item one any value from one two and three will be recorded and given a value of one as shown here item number one um, value of one is one value of two is uh, uh, one value of five is given two value of uh, four is two value of three is given one so this uh, variable has been recorded and transformed into dichotomous or binomial variable in which there is either one for disagree and two for agree if we click on variable view um, as shown here i'm going to give this value uh, these uh, number uh, or scores a value by clicking on values give the one for uh, disagree uh, disagree and then two for agree and for agree capital letter for agree uh, and then click on ok back again to the data view and in the data view we're going to look at some of the descriptive statistics for both the item one before recording and post recording if we click on analyze and then scroll down to descriptive frequencies and then reset this I'm going to select item number one and then item number one recorded I'm going to keep this box ticked for display frequency tables for statistics since it is an ordinal data and eventually converted into um, nominal then I will go for the median for the minimum for the maximum and for the range and I will click on continue for chart I would like to present each variable in a par chart and I'm going to go for uh, the percentage here click on continue uh, for format no changes click on continue for style no changes here if i click on ok an output will be generated as shown here a table for the data which is selected for item number one and item one number one recorded there are valid 201 cases or participants no missing values for both variable the median for the first one which was ordinal data is three and the median for the recorded one is one the range for item one is four and for item one uh, r is one and the minimum for the ordinal uh, variable is one and the maximum is five and for the item recorded is one and two moving to the next table is uh, a table for description for item one uh, which is variable one ordinal data from one to five and the frequency for each responses from participant is given here and a percent is generated for the second item which is a recorded item uh, the um, value for one and two and the percentage is given for how many uh, participant selected the uh, disagree option and the agree option here these data are then uh, plotted into a par chart as shown here on the x-axis is the item number one from strongly disagree to strongly agree and the percentage is given for each category and for the recorded one all the data has been transformed into two categories or binomial uh, data uh, disagree and agree 
and as shown here the uh, there is a higher uh, proportion or percentage of those who disagreed with the questions or question number one compared to the those who uh, agree to uh, do a few editing for this uh, plot double click on it and then in this uh, uh, new window double click on it again menu uh, is generated here to select from to change the um, chart size no changes for chart size but for par options let's decrease the pars and click on apply to decrease the width of the par chart so this is the way to transform Likert scale into binomial data in SPSS. If you find this video useful, do subscribe to the channel, leave any comment in the indicated uh, box and activate the notification bell to receive the recent and uh, latest release uh, into the channel of uh, several different video clip and click on the like icon and share the video link with others so the channel can expand and improve to include a large scope of uh, different statistical method and how to analyze data using uh, several different uh, statistical packages such as SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistic, or Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, GPower, Python, and RevMan. If you are a student or a researcher and you have a data, whether it is um, um, quantitative all qualitative and you want to perform a statistical uh, analysis on that data using any of the softwares listed here whether it's SPSS, Excel, Stata, Jamovi, R Statistics, Graphpad, Prism, Revman, GMP, Python then do contact me to arrange for either a one-to-one -one private tutor session or a training course uh, on any of these uh, statistical packages my contact details are given here so don't hesitate to uh, write to me or email me if you need uh, a private one-to-one uh, -one, uh, tutoring or a training course